All right, everybody, today we are going to mix up a batch of brackish water. This isn't going to be a very exciting video, but it is going to be one I've been talking about doing for quite a while. Uh, the bucket on the right is my reservoir. Uh, that's really all you need is just something to store some brackish water in. The bucket on the left is my marine salts, and our water source is my RO water right there. That's not RODI, that's just RO water. And the marine salts I use are uh, Instant Ocean brand. I don't particularly have a preference. You can just get this at one of the big chain pet stores around here uh, for very inexpensive if you're willing to buy this great big bucket. So all we are going to do is get a measuring scoop. We're going to put it in here and then we're going to start mixing the water. So let me get that stuff together and I'll show you the next step. All right, I'll just use a regular old set of measuring cups. And I use the half cup size measuring cup. I just use one great big scoop, well rounded, about like that. And I put that in my five gallons of water. Don't rinse any salt off of the cup. And it's important to put the lid back on your salt and close it down tight. Uh, salt is hydrophilic, it loves water. So if you don't actually close the lid, it will actually pull moisture out of your air and your salt will start to cake and clump inside the container. Uh, so you always want to put your lid back on tight. This is just a matter of letting it fill up and letting it swirl around. So the reason I mix it up the way I do is because I don't have a refractometer, or at least I didn't until now. So let's go have a look at the refractometer real quickly while uh, this bucket is filling. All right, real quickly, this is my refractometer, if I can get it open. This is a device that measures the salinity of your water. You simply lift this little flap up, you put some water in there, you let it close down, and then you look through here. Uh, once the bucket is filled, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a measurement on video. I'll certainly do a measurement myself and tell you what it is if I can't actually get the measurement uh, to show up on video. But years ago, I had one of these. I used it all the time. I got familiar with how much salt to put in my five gallon bucket. So when the one I had before broke, I never worried about it. I just kept using the same amount of salt. But now that I have one, we're going to check this water once I'm done mixing it up. And it should come out right around 1.008 on the specific gravity scale. All right, we're all filled up. I took a reading. The reading was actually much lower than I expected it to be. It was actually at 1.004, which is below what I want it to be. A puffer, a figure eight puffer, which is what I have, and the Bumblebee Gobies, they need low end brackish. They need to be between point, uh, 1.005 and 1.008 is ideal. And I always thought that the big rounded half cup measuring cup gave me about 1.008. But when I measured, it came out to be less than that. So let's have a look and see if we can see on camera. All right, so here's the tank in question, and the darker blue line you saw there, I know it was difficult to make out on that little bit of uh, video you could see of the, you know, looking through the eyepiece there, but that darker line was where the division line is on the salinity, and you could see it came in sort of just below the 1.010. So I did actually add a little more salt, and I brought it up to where I wanted it to be, and when we set up the new tank, I now have the measuring equipment to do it properly and I can get everything set up. But without having that refractometer, um, it's not really that big a deal. The, the nature of urihaline animals, or what you would think of as brackish animals, allows them to be in a wide variety of water. So even though my salinity in this tank, and I did not actually check the water in this tank, uh, I can go ahead and do that after I'm done shooting this video. I'll attach a little annotation to tell you what it actually is. But if the salinity in this tank is not quite right, it's not that big a deal. The animals that live in this sort of water are used to fluctuations in their daily life out in the real world. And as a lot of you know, these puffers and bumblebee gobies that are in here are often sold as freshwater fish can, and can live for... Uh, you know, long periods of time in fresh water, though ideally they should be in brackish. So if I've been keeping him in water that is slightly below where it should be, it's really not that big a deal. 
Um, he is still in brackish water, but I'm probably on the very, very low end of the brackish. Um, but that's more or less all there is to it. You simply take your marine salts, you mix it up into your uh, desired salinity, and then you keep it in storage. I recommend at least four to six hours before you use it. You can use it right away if you really have to. Um, but I always try to let the water sit for a little while, let everything get fully dissolved, uh, let all of the gases equilibrate, and let any, you know... Um, associated or, or, or accumulated CO2 in the water uh, gas off and I let the pH stabilize and then you can go ahead and use it. So I usually keep a reservoir on hand. When I'm done doing a water change and I use the reservoir up, I go ahead and refill it. That way the next time I want to do a water change, if it's a spur of the moment kind of thing, I've already got the reservoir full. I don't have to make a batch of water to prepare for a water change. I can simply do it. So we'll discuss this in more length as time goes on and we start working on putting the new brackish tank together a little more earnestly as I'm about to get started on here soon. Uh, so we will talk more about that refractometer, we'll talk more about mixing up the brackish water and everything else. Like I said, this wasn't really going to be much of a video, just me sort of mixing up a batch of water and explaining how I do it. So let me get going. Uh, thanks for watching this one and I will see you real soon on the next one.